All right, Saints Nation, thank you for sticking with us here. Of course, quick break, but now we're into the next matchup here. We have made it to the quarterfinals. You hear the engines roaring, and there we go. Losers round six, a.k.a. the quarterfinals underway up against University of Tennessee Knoxville. University of Tennessee Knoxville, the opponent, St. Clair, going all the way through to losers. UK, UTK coming down for winners, so this is actually their first losers bracket bracket match of the day. True. So they're looking to bounce back after a tough loss as UTK, but now we're into the best of fives. A little more wiggle room for these teams. If you drop a game, you're not immediately on the on the brink. Yeah. So uh, per perhaps a little bit more uh, more space to work with here. Absolutely. A little bit more time to do some downloads in case your speeds aren't quite up to snuff, to say the least. As we now see, nice little back and forth here from Nitrox and Spoods to get this into the UTK zone. But immediately going to be knocked aside there by UTA for a moment's time. That is going to be Shaka up into their big shot, actually. What a rocket to go right into that right side. Well, Shaka had a big day for Switzerland in the Euros. Shaka continuing to have a big day here on the virtual pitch as uh, draws first blood in this series. UTK taking a 1-0 lead. Of course, the rest of the members here on this U um, UTK squad, that is going to be Zach, J. Cole, and of course, the one who just scored right there, Shaka. As he, Shaka takes it once again, looking for a spot above the crossbar, nearly going to knock it down for somebody, but could not quite find anybody that time, but bye. So it is going to be Spooz off to Christian. Christian going to be taking it to the left of the post this time. Zach not going to be able to get a piece of it. It's going to be Nitrix who actually brings us up fourth. This is going to be Christian up to the top, over to Spooz. No, Spooz was actually being hunted down there by J. Cole had he made the offensive move, so good on them to just retreat for the time being but just puts an absolute halt to any offense that the saints were trying to do yeah it just seems like a little bit of a scrambling right now for the saints as they're in the defensive zone just trying to refocus re uh center up here as uh, christian trying to get that knock but nice soft touch from jay cole able to uh, bump that all the way down to St. Clair zone. And Christian now going to revert back. Actually didn't see that player there. Thought he had Nitrix to bump that up towards the middle of the point or the middle of the goal, but no. It's actually going to be that UT key player with the intercept. Now St. Clair scrambling a little bit one-on-one -on -one towards oh the point. Goodness. But great block there from Shaka. Off to a hot start for his UTK team. Right, Spoots basically taking everybody on in that engagement. Got past one, nearly got past a second, but does get denied this time by. But he's going to get it over to his teammate, I believe it's Christian, up in the skies. Brings it down below the crossbar, pops down in the crease, but nobody can actually get a real good touch on it. It is going to eventually be Shaka, who's going up against Christian at center field. Zach pushes this thing forward and finally gives CTK a moment to breathe. And Spoots now find a teammate of sorts. Looks for Christian. Actually kind of teed it up there for UTK, but Nitrix is there to make the save. Yep, good wrap back from Nitrix oh. here to keep oh. it out of the net, but there's oh, two no. demos now. Now it's a 301. Christian has to contest this. Not going to happen. Coming off the spawn of Spoots just in time to clear it away. That was spelling trouble. A shot. And a shot on goal. Nitrix guns it home. And what was looking so dangerous for the Saints turned into a goal just like that. Unbelievably done. Like, granted, I don't think he would have had a whole heck of a He had about a half tank or so left there to make that play happen. But, yeah, basically getting demoed and immediately getting yourself into position for the offensive play. Fantastic job by Nitrix. Fantastic job by all the Saints to get into the right positions, make that pass. And they continue to just brute force it. Beautifully done there from the Saints and another goal for Nitrix. Wow. Nitrix on the board twice already. Good individual effort from him. We haven't really <laughs> seen him kind of take possession of the ball that much throughout the day. But right there, he shows off his skill, able to get that second touch after the contest and puts it in the net. And Nitrix, very important player. We talked about him. The deeper it goes into this tournament, how they're going to have to rely on his experience and so far delivering when it matters. It's definitely the X factor of sorts here on the Saints squad because you never know exactly what you're quite going to get. But the experience, like you said, is coming up more positive than not. And normally for Nitrix, we don't usually see him brute force plays like that, but he picked his spot and absolutely crushed it when necessary, given the Saints a lead, at least for this moment. And he tries to flick it on out back into the UTK zone. Christian is there waiting, but Zach has control. Nitrix looking sharp right now. Zach with control, looking for that second touch. Nobody, oh, perhaps a, a bit of a missed touch from him as Spoo's going to take this the other way. The 50 50 won there by Shaka as Jake Cole able to clean up as uh, Christian again contesting towards the middle of the field. And Spoo's with a shot on goal. That oh, one. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh wow. 
now explodes with a 400 yard missile. Somehow floating over the top of J. Cole as he's at a boost. I'm not sure how that one went in. Uh, sometimes we just don't ask questions to so just <laughs> acknowledge what we have saw. What a shot from basically the entire court. Dead center in the middle of the net. Fantastic job all around. That gives the Saints now the insurance that they kind of were looking for around this one minute mark. Again, I think we've been saying it all uh, all day long so far. Like two goal lead at a minute. Still kind of nerve wracking, but you're feeling a little bit better compared to trying to hold one. Yeah, so far, no leads blown within the final minute for the Saints. Oh, we're Basically, here now. any opponent that we've seen, <laughs> yeah. Caster Curse, hopefully not, as uh, St. Clair trying to hold on. 40 seconds left to go. Shot back down towards the SEC zone. Spoods there to clear that one nice. out. The help of Nitric shot on goal just over top of the second touch again off the crossbar. And UTK scrambling to get out of their zone, and they're just simply running out of time. These awkward, like, instead of playing the ball, play the car kind of plays coming out here from the Saints are doing a fantastic job of stalling this out. That was a good 10, maybe 12 seconds or so where the ball is just kind of left in the skies so that nobody can touch it because the Saints just kept pushing everybody around. And you can see Zach is definitely angry. He's going on a demolition derby. But even getting the one at this point would be too little. And Spoods is actually is going to get the cherry on top here after a fantastic bounce in the center field. What a day for Spoods. Cherry on top in the end. Oh, robbery. St. Clair just, uh, I don't know, not not the best of starts as UTK came out flying. They were whipping around the field and were able to get the first goal on the board, but four straight now for the Saints. Gonna take game one as well. And uh, just complete flip-flop from the first minute uh, into the rest of the game as uh, SEC gonna take game one. Yeah, fantastic little comeback of sorts there. For Saints, because yeah, that start was a little bit rough, but they did end up getting the ball rolling. Nitrix getting two goals on that one, two goals on three shots, plus an assist, plus a save, was absolutely all over the board. And it does look like we're going to have a quick little server flip or something, because I did see some of the players leave. So we'll have a quick moment here before we hop into the next one. But Shaka and the rest of the squad were doing solid, but then it just seemed like the momentum just fell flat. Like, what do you think just happened there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I I think really once uh, once the Saints got the first first goal on the board, they just didn't really have an answer. It seems like UTK were became the team that was scrambling in their defensive zone. They just mm -hmm. couldn't really get any pressure towards the net. I mean, other than the first 45 seconds or so, uh, I mean, we saw that ridiculous save. Uh, I believe it was from Nitrix or, or Spoods at the beginning of the game. Oh yeah, <laughs> and everything everything could have gone differently had they put that one in a 2-0 lead. Definitely. Uh, could have changed the outcome of the game. Uh, you, you just got to mentally reset here. That was a tough loss. You started out good, and now you need to take that momentum from the first minute, bring it into game two if you're UTK. Absolutely. And now it's going to be Shaka picking up where they left off, trying to get a, a quick one off the start, but not this time. Saints just kind of dogpiling it right into the corner. Spood's going to lead that charge, leaving it up for Christian, who gets a fantastic shot on target, but an even better save there from Shaka to stop that one. Yeah, even better save again. Shaka with a good shot on goal, but Nitrix there for the reinforcements. This ball is still not going to get out of the zone. Finally does, but Chaka going to keep it in again. Christian with a good contest, but bounces the wrong way as J. Cole set up for prime oh. position. But a great demo from Christian. Going to alleviate that pressure immediately. And a shot from Nitrix as well. Rebound now from Spoons trying to put it in off the top of the net. And finally cleared from UTK. A good opportunity for St. Clair to take an early lead. All right, a couple of good shots from both sides so far, but nobody able to seal the deal quite yet. We have now Spoods going to dump this on into the UTK zone. Just dump and chase. Try to interfere as best as possible. If you can't get the ball yourself, Nitrix goes flying for it, but could not quite get a piece of it. Zach now shot on target. Spoods is there, is going to make the save. Comfortably puts it along the wall and actually waits for Shaka to get past them. A little bit of a mind game of sorts along the sides to see who gets the clear first. Nitrix is going to fall, but it does allow for the Saints to clear for the moment. Yep. Again, more, your more traditional tennis going on right now, but there a good shot go. on goal. There's the individualism that we see from Christian so often. You able to use his skill. We hadn't seen it over the last couple series, yep. but right there, able to take advantage and just, I mean, 
you can see the talent that Christian has. It's all about bringing it out. He does right there, puts his team up 1-0, and we got 3.30 left in game two. Whether it's a one-on-one -on -one with the defender or the goalie, it's whoever moves first and how do you react to it. Waited for the absolute perfect time. Meanwhile, Zach almost at the perfect time there for UTK to get themselves a quick answer on the board. But it ends up just going fairly wide. Nitrix is going to beat everybody to this ball and get the Saints the second goal of the game. Yeah, players get again caught out getting boost and uh, well, Nitrix, nobody up the middle. All right, my turn. Oh, poor As, Zach. Uh, yeah, Zach just late, gets a, a little bit of a touch, but not enough in Noel. Good read from Nitrix. Again, he, he read the pressure, able to take advantage, and now St. Clair with a 2-0 lead. Yeah, you don't have to necessarily get fancy with it if you're positioned properly. Just outright uh, drag race him and gun it and makes it work this time by. Of course, UTK still not quite done just yet, but still, you can tell a little bit of the momentum starting to kind of bleed away from them, so to speak. Christian going to pick it up after Nitrix. He was looking for the solo play for himself. I guess the Saints are kind of feeling a little bit confident, willing to take to the skies a little bit more often. In a worst case scenario, as long as you don't just uh, send it over to the opponent, it is a good time killer. Best case scenario, you find a shot out of it. Yeah, you see Spoon's already wrapped back. Great read out of him getting the boost, knew the pressure was coming from UTK, the ball into the zone. Now Spoon's able to oh. get a decent look for Christian, but nothing doing yet. Nitrix all the way back playing defense by himself. Good touch there from Chaka, oh. but no, no one home for UTK to get that second chance opportunity. And now it's St. Clair with an opportunity for themselves, but three defenders there, Spoon's over the top. Christian, soft touch off the crossbar, second chance. There's Nitrix, third player in. Great goal, great team effort there. Absolutely, Spood starts this thing off. I pass it over to Christian. Christian off the backboard. All of the UTK members at that point were either stuck inside their own net or have already made their move and are flying through them or past the crease. And nothing they could do there. Nitrix, good time to sneak in there and get another goal here in this one. 3-0 now in the favor of the Saints. Just passing that halfway point a couple of seconds ago. So lots of Rocket League to be played. But UTK definitely feels like they're on the back foot majorly, both in terms of score and mentality as of right now. Yeah, this is where you start to get into dangerous territory for UTK. You can't let this game get out of hand. From here on out, you really just want to play good Rocket League. And the goals will come eventually for them. Oh. They, they just need to, need to play strong fundamentally for the rest of this one. As time is dwindling away, the win is looking unlikely at this point for the side of UTK, but they need anything they, that they can bring into game three uh, would be huge for them. Absolutely, because we see yet another bouncer. We have two people jumping for it on the side of UTK just to make sure this thing does not go back into their net. Christian is going to answer this right at the center line, basically, but it did kind of pass this off over to Shaka, who does make the shot. Spood's going to stop that, but the rebound coming out here, Nitrix is going to stop that one there from J. Cole. So no harm, no foul of sorts here for the Saints. Christian from his own side going to try and crush that thing down. Shaka now going to end up making the save. Christian still with so much pressure, and then additional Saints member flying on through to try and make that shot happen, but there's too many bodies in that area. Shot goes high here from UTK. Rebound, no, J. Cole gets demoed for his dribbles. So now just a little bit of a tennis match, as you would say, just back and forth with 50 seconds left to go. Yeah, 50 seconds, uh, the time is just running out, not on the side of UTK whatsoever. Good shot on goal here, looking for a second oh. chance, but great 50 ball from Nitrix. Bumps that one into the corner. Chance now for Shaka to get this one back towards the middle. No boost for him. So he's just going to have to revert back and rely on Jay Cole to make something happen here. Zach sends it back towards the middle. Shot on goal as Shaka able to knock that one away. Chris is just out here flying around it. Hey, yo. <laughs> okay. That was an uh, interesting bounce as uh, Shaka off the roof and over the head of, I believe it was Spoods, the bounce. Yeah. Oh. Well, the demo came in last <laughs> second. Wow. I was going to say that uh, definitely caught me off guard, but that makes sense. Fantastic enforcer play there from the UTK player to just completely interfere with the goalie. Of course, some sports that's a penalty here, it's encouraged. So making that work for them, but it's going to be answered pretty quickly. Never mind, not quite answered, but still, this is a lot of time to take it down. 10 seconds for two goals. I think this one's about all she wrote here. Saints are going to go up two in this series. All she wrote, going to be a 2 0 series lead here for St. Clair. Well, we, I mean, we, we were just talking about it. this is what you need from UTK. They got a good quality goal. Very true. Uh, they were able to play some good Rock League down the stretch. They, it's not like they were heavily outplayed in the final minute and a half, but 
Uh, this is the something, just literally anything when you're down 2-0 <laughs> in a series. You need to bring something into that elim potentially eliminating game. And uh, UTK, they got to build on it. Yeah, and to be fair, again, it was it's not like UTK was short on any sort of offense. That's going to be 10 shots total on that side of the or on that side of the court, and rather on the Saints' side, it was nine. So it was extremely even all around. Just for the Saints, the defense was there. The plays were happening. But yes, like you are saying, getting that last goal there, especially one as like decisive and hard, uh, hard-hitting like a uh, an enforcer demo kind of yeah. style goal, you feel good after that one regardless of what the scoreline is. So yeah, that's exactly what they were looking for. But now we're going to be going into game three where it is now do or die here for UTK. Saints looking for that loser semifinal spot if they can get one more on the field. Yep, uh, I, I don't want to prematurely say anything, but with, with how the, the first two games have gone so far, it's been all St. Clair. Very true. Uh, and so UTK will need to come up big in game three and really come out and beat them badly if they want a chance in the rest of this series. And St. Clair, they need to close this thing out now. Yeah, they need to win on the scoreboard, and they also need a bunch of emotional damage if they can manage to make that happen here. But now, great way UTK dropping it right in the St. Clair crease, but there is no third member to try and make the shot. But this early in the game, I'm not sure if you want to necessarily overcommit, and holy smokes, that's one way to use, uh, play the body of source. Just kind of <laughs> treated that poor car like a cue ball and just got two for his efforts. Not demos, but still pushed him aside. Yeah, you don't necessarily always need demos. The no boost bump is good enough. There's a good chance here for Nitrix, but you see the, the likes of Spoods and Christian playing defense. They're expecting the wrap-up from UTK immediately as Spoods tries to get one toward the middle of the point. Not going to happen there. Nitrix gets it back down in the corner. Second chance opportunity now. Spoods, good defense there coming in from Shaka. UTK look a little bit more comfortable, oh. but as I say that, a good chance for SEC. Back the other way, two on O, or two on one rather, but Nitrix coming in from the left side of your screen. You blink and you miss up with a great defensive play. Yeah, just enough time to get that ball away and in, off to the side where it's a little bit less dangerous. Fantastic job there, but now that is gonna be, I believe that was Zach firing through the center, trying to get this towards the same zone. Does manage to get it there. Holds it there for just a little bit longer, but Christian fought for that one pretty much just the entire way. Passes this one back on over to Nitrix, who has it in the corner of the UTK zone. Looking for anybody right now. Here's Christian, dead center. Just gonna be the shot for themselves, and Christian's just gonna try and dump and chase for himself, but does end up getting cleared. UTK currently in control. Yeah, classic dump and chase. Good chance there, shot on goal just off the top left corner. As Nitrix now the other way, balls back towards middle. Christian with a good shot oh. on goal. Couldn't quite get the angle as uh, the, tried to manipulate the card just enough, but not enough power. Uh, that allows UTK to wrap back, clear the ball on out. Now a chance for Shaka shot on goal, contested there from Spoods. Cleared out once again from St. Clair. Back and forth we go. Great pass towards oh. the middle of the net. Zach there for the defense. Nitrix with a second follow-up pass. Nothing doing again. The demo comes in. They do have a three on two, but the ball just kind of stagnated in the air. I think Christian's kicking himself a little bit there. Zach was able to dodge him at the same time as that shot, which could have very well been the go-ahead goal into this one. Gets the demo a little bit later. Has a little bit of a revenge tap, but wasn't quite what he was hoping for. Zach now in the same zone looking for a centering attempt. Uses Spoods for it, actually. A little bit of a bump and run to uh, pass this on over the Shaka, who has control. Gets past one looking for a teammate does get interfered with though so the saints granted they're kind of stuck in their zone for a little bit but it's always been in the corners not necessarily a dangerous spot yeah these fi these 50 50s i mean both teams have won their fair share in the defensive zone and that's why we're now three minutes crossing the three minute threshold of game number three at nil nil and uh but both teams just great defensive effort so far as uh you know Dick. Some quality chances, UTK, not as many perhaps as St. Clair, but they've certainly had a couple opportunities to get one Ooh. in, but nothing doing yet. Yeah, very, very awkward bounce there for UTK. Almost went right through their crease, but now we're actually seeing the Saints a little bit on the defensive side. Stings, passes up forward, shot by Christian. is going to end up going wide. Very, very fast ball, hard to control that one, but they still almost made something out of this. Going to end up going right back into the Saints zone. Christian is going to have to make a save on this one. Shaka was right there to get that ball right off the wall. Zach looking to try and drop it down, interfered with by Spoot, who sends it over to Nitrix. Nitrix by himself for the time being, not going to be able to get a follow-up, just right back to Shaka. Back and fourth battle here in center field. Minute left to go, still nothing, nothing. Here we go. These contests are outstanding for both teams in their D zone. 
Still 0-0, one minute left to go. UTK White with oh. the tournament on the line. A great opportunity, but Chaka there to shut that chance down for SEC. Ball back into the zone. Christian just going to regroup. Gets this up towards the middle of the net, but good contest once again. That's going to be Jay Cole. Someone got interfered with in the UTK zo zone. Can they get a shot off in that time? No, there is enough backup to make it happen. It is going to be a centering pass, but it just it goes on over to the UTK player who brings it right into the same zone. Trying to get some sort of forecheck going. Shot on target. Actually, the counter punch. They can actually outrun this Christian drag race. He's going to get the go-ahead goal. Wow. Taking advantage of the overextension from UTK. You see Zach too far pushed up across that midfield line. Christian able to just slide that one on in at 24 seconds. It was looking like overtime right there, but no. Christian and Co. Oh, no! One, and there's a oh, oh, it doesn't go in! Christian gonna kick himself for that one. Sinclair still have control towards the UTK net. Oh, another chance to put that one away. Absolute madness, and it's not over just yet. Five seconds or so left on the clock. One more chance here for UTK to try and tie this one up after a play goes wrong that they're absolutely going to be kicking themselves for. This ball's still up in the air. Can it hit the ground, or can they get the goal? This is actually a good opportunity. Oh. They choke it, and it is going to be St. Clair going to the loser semifinal. Oh, man. UTK oh. so, so close, and wow. Great efforts from both sides. That was by far the most uh, exciting game Absolutely. we've seen all day long. 0-0 uh, zero, zero right down to the wire, but 24 seconds left. Nitrix able to get that ball up to the midfield area, and, well, Christian just walked that one into the net. Exactly. They... They sent all three up there to the point where, of course, there is no offsides in Rocket League. So if you find the opportunity where, not that you're cherry picking, but you see the opportunity where you can kind of force a drag race like that, I mean, you take it. And Christian did not disappoint. Fires it on in there. Kind of scared us with the second goal that <laughs> yeah. probably almost could have been. But thankfully, no harm, no foul. This works this time by. Scary, but made it exciting for us, that's for sure. Absolutely. And well, we're now into the top four. All right. And, uh, we continue on to the best of five. So SEC dropping down from uh, winner's round two down to loser's round two. And uh, they've been able to make the run of a lifetime so far. <laughs> and then it's not going necessarily according to plan either. I do believe on the bracket here, as we do see, if we go up a little bit more to the top where it says projected, can we check that box? Because if I recall correctly, we were the fourth seed. We were supposed to be, we're going to basically lose now according to what is projected. However, if I recall correctly, we were supposed to lose to GVSU. No, actually, they're thinking that we're going to lose to USF, so University of South Florida. Holy crap, five Florida teams today, apparently. But... It looks like that's exactly who we're going up against. So uh, I guess according to projected, things are going as planned. But if I recall correctly, we were supposed to see GVSU there. But still, the fact that the Saints have been able to go as far as they have from dropping down to the lower bracket immediately into this tournament is just says a lot. Good on them. Yeah, I mean, it, they've needed to pull together these wins, and uh, each series they've looked just stronger and stronger, really. Um, and now with a, a best-of-five series against UTK, they had to win three instead of two, and they were able to put together mm -hmm. uh, a master class in the first two games to get to that point. And, of course, the back and forth, they came in uh, in the clutch. And, well, the history of this team is just so, so clutch. Obviously, last year, the incredible run that they had uh, to make it into the, the CRL uh, World Championships. Mm -hmm. um, the 24th seed, uh, <laughs> we, we can't not talk about that. Uh, Christian and Spoods, of course, key components um, to those guys making that run. But in the clutch, this is where this, this team shines and one of the best teams at this school specifically in the clutch when it matters. Absolutely. And if this is the tournament that you're think or that we're both thinking of, I believe that was where... Uh... Nitrix had to kind of come in clutch at the Worlds because, like, illness actually came to one of the players at that time, too, which yeah. I know Nitrix, the super sub or whatever, ended up being, not the, not the meme, but it, it was the <laughs> nickname of sorts, so to speak, around campus where it came in and absolutely clutched up where necessary, and we're kind of seeing a little bit of the, the same kind of stuff happening here today. But can we now make the upset versus the University of South Florida, assuming that is who we're going up against? It looks like. Uh, or that match might still be happening. Yeah, Mount, still going uh, on right now, yeah. 
I'll mount something. I, I'm absolutely losing my vision apparently here. I can't quite uh, catch the other opponents there alongside them. But Mount Aloysius. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a, a stab at that one. <laughs> um, Mount Aloysius College. Yeah. So it, it does look like. Um, Akron will be the first team qualified for uh, Fair for league play, which yeah, it was pretty well expected. Again, a new look team, but just so so strong still. Absolutely. Um, so Syracuse is going to be the team waiting in the losers finals, and that will be the final qualifying match. But first, they wait the opponent of St. Clair and uh, either USF or Mount Alois Aloysius. Yeah, we're starting to kind of uh, get down to it here. Honestly, props to Syracuse as well. That's a team that's kind of only as of recently. I guess really starting to show up a lot more yeah. often. Like they've been competing a lot. Don't get me wrong. This is the first time, I guess, over the last say six months or so that I'm starting to see them at like the further portions of these tournaments. So good on them. And then uh, Mount Aloysius College, I've never heard of them. And that terrifies me. So we'll have yeah. to see what happens. I'm going to be very, very curious as to what happens between them and uh, University of South Florida. For sure. Um, Mount Aloysius, I mean, to make it all the way to the, the top six, I mean, very impressive run from them, so a mm. uh, huge shout-out to them. If they do happen to get past uh, USF, then uh, we'll have the pleasure of seeing them here on stream. But for now, while we wait for that game, we're going to take a quick little intermission. Don't go anywhere. We're in the top four loser semifinal coming up next.